Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we uh, took care of Team Lisa and stopped Team Aqua, or rather Magma, from stealing some random jet fuel. And in this episode, we're going to take care of a loose end that uh, you really should have gotten to a little earlier considering the levels of the trainers that you fight along the way. But, anyway, head down here and we get to start surfing, which means, you know what that means, you need repels. Many needs them. Off screen, I went ahead and did this with uh, Salt Sir. Used the power point max on Blaze Kick, so now he's got 16 power points for it as opposed to 10. That'll be useful. Surfing time! Hopefully, I don't get into too many battles because I actually want to skip a good chunk of them because a lot of them, again, not very challenging. It would be okay, experience or star you. There is... I don't know what item that is. I think it's a shard, but I can't remember. But either way, it requires a double battle to get, so I might as well grab it. Either way, with Staryu, with Thunderbolt, this should be really easy. One had two level 24 Manectrix and a level 24 Swallow. One had a 24 Machop, 24 Tentacle, and 24 Wingle. And that was the Sailor that had those. Ah, Star Piece! Yay! So that fight with an Amulet Queen gave me 3,800, and that Star Piece will give me 4,900. Almost a full grand from that fight. Anyway, this is what we wanted, the abandoned ship. Because this isn't creepy at all. For some reason, there are no ghosts in here, though. Anyway, there's a double battle here, which you can honestly avoid, but I'd rather not, considering. Huh, what would compel you to come here? Well, why are you here? 20, 25 Electric, 25 Zigzagoon, 25 Whalmer, and 25 something else. Anyway, this wonderful lady gives me her number. Why, thank you. I'd like to come see you on this abandoned ship again. I don't believe this guy will actually... Yep. Appear to be other cabins. Yes, there are. I believe that kid is a trainer. As you can see, there are a bunch of items to find here, including harbor mail, but that's not at all why I came here. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. I don't know if that kid is a trainer or not. No, he is not. Anyway, this sailor definitely is a trainer. And it's time to kill him, or kick his ass. Level 25 Seal and 25 Machoke, and we can't get in here because it's a storage room, apparently. Anyway, this is one guy who's still seasick, even though... Wait a minute. He's seasick on a not-moving boat. Why the fuck did he come here, then? Anyway, I think there's a trainer in the next cabin. Nope, that's a dive spot. We'll come to that later. That's where we want to go, but I want to explore the rest of this first. Hey, Repel's Effect wore off. We found an escape rope, just in case we need to hightail it out of here. That makes three escape ropes I have now. Sweet. Yay, it's a ship! Why are you here, kid? Perfect place to go exploring. I bet there's amazing treasures on board. Yes, there are. A dive ball. This gives you, I think, a times four catch rate to when you're diving. Which is very rare, and the only thing that really helps you catch is Relicanth, but... That is a... Yep. That little kid is going to be so bratty about having his inner tube. Level 26 Meryl. And a double battle. Immediately these guys double team you the second you enter, which is completely unfair. Level 26 Meryl and a level 26 Sandslash. Nice and easy, again. As per usual, and you can actually run in here. I think this is a young couple. Yes, it is. Here we go. Level 25 Volbeat, level 25 Illumise, and they register my number, apparently. Maybe they're just into being swingers. Anyway, just head the hell out of here. And go over here. And you find some random dude here investigating the ship on Captain Stern asks you to find a scanner. No success. I uh, wonder why he wants a scanner. Anyway, you find a storage key here. This will open one of the doors that we uh, skipped over. Which will be right down here. And... Get out of the way, kid. Thank you. And run down here, and right over here. Storage key uh, opens this door. And you get TM-13 Ice Beam. Yay! I love you, Ice Beam. You just saved me from having to buy a lot of coins at the game corner. And you can pretty much guess who that's going on, like, right away. Yep, Kumagui. You get Ice Beam! And you erase Blizzard. I'd much prefer if you could hit. I'd, I'd, I'll take the 30 point reduction in power for 30 points of accuracy. 
Because usually I'm attacking weaknesses, so Blizzard really doesn't help me attack weaknesses there. Anyway, head down here, and we're going to need to pop a repel, since as you can tell, that's a bit of a dark area. So, going to get our first foray into diving in this episode already. Gotta love it. If I can find out where the hell I put my repels. There they are. No, that's an elixir. <laughs> Doi. I have two max elixirs. Oh, wow, that's going to be useful for the uh, Pokemon League. This is actually taking a bit longer than I thought. I might not be able to do other stuff in this episode. I would like to use dive. Placeholder. Dive. Listen to the amazing music, and somehow I can breathe. I can breathe under here. I can stay under, <laughs> under the water indefinitely. I think it's right here, maybe? Should be able to... Hmm. I guess you can't just press A to undive. I thought you could. Oh well. Now you can see why they got rid of this. You can't surf here. We. There we are. Room is locked. R1 is painted on the door. R2 is painted on the door. We can enter this one, however. Huh? What's over here? R1 key. Thank you! Sparkly, shiny things. You know what this means. This is the real reason why I came here. I came here to get the goddamn water stone. Since it's the only place you can get a water stone without finding a blue shard and trading it to the treasure hunter. And... There is no reason to keep Kumagui in his state since every single one of the moves I want to teach him is taught through TM. Sorry about that. I was readjusting my chair and hit the side of my desk. Thank you, I love... I love you. I love you. Star me, I love you. Kumagui is evolved, and now part psychic as well. Which means I get the same type of attack bonus from psychic. And it's now a lot faster. And it's actually got usable HP and special defense. Uh, special attack. Defense and speed. So yeah, Starmie. I love Starmie. I really do. He's a great, um, all-around sweeper. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the rest of these, uh, houses. Rooms. Two keys here. Right here. Room four, which will open one of the ones on top. And I think the other one was right here? No? Hmm. thought the other key was right there. No, it was, it was right around there, though. Bright and shiny, but it's just trash. Oh, well. Anyway, you get TM18 Rain Dance here, which is okay, I guess, if you want Thunder to hit 100% of the time. Which is good for Starmie, because Starmie can actually set that up. Because Starmie is fast, so if you give Starmie Rain Dance and Thunder, that's a good combination, but then you have to get rid of one of its other attacks. Uh, room 6, so that means this one is the next one we go to. You got here. One in the trash, one over here. Bright and shiny, just trash. Where is it? Over here. Bright and shiny, just trash. So, the real thing you want is in the garbage. So I'm guessing the next two keys you're going to be getting are room 2 and room 5. Eh. Alright, let's go ahead and see where these ones uh, pop up. Nowhere, apparently. A luxury ball! Yay? Huh, nowhere to be found. Empty. Empty. Pulse effect wore off. If I had the item finder, this would be easier. Empty. Where the hell is the room 2 key? I am actually going to search for that off screen for a second. Alright, I found it out. It's actually really simple. You gotta go to this room, two tiles below, face left. Boom! If you want the tile to flash, you actually have to enter from up there. And there is no room 5 key, since as you can see, room 5 is has a busted door. So, that's nice. Wonderful touch. Head in here. I have no idea what's in here. Just an item, apparently. A scanner! Awesome! So that's what that guy was looking for. And there's nothing in there. So, it's time to head back to the guy who wants a scanner. Uh, since we've already been there, I'll cut out the check for you. Alright, we're back, and... Yep, that's a scanner. I can get you to deliver the... one. Uh, okay, I'm going to deliver this to Captain Stern, since apparently that's what they want me to do. 
And since I don't feel like trekking back through the entire damn ship, I will not use a moonstone because that won't get me anywhere. We. Oh god, oh man, dizziness. Anyway, Captain Stern, as you might expect, is still in Slateport, so let's get the hell over there. We fly me fly slave! Now, I don't know whether he's over here or if he's in the shipyard. Oh, he's here. Oh, it's a scanner. Uh, help us, uh, would you like to trade it for something? Uh, deep Sea Tooth or Deep Sea Scale? Both of these increase Clamp Pearl stuff. I think the Tooth is special attack and the Scale is special defense. I really don't care. I just want to show this to you because it's part of the game. And really, the scanner doesn't help you with anything, and you can't do anything else with it, so... Yep, special defense of a Clamp Pearl. Why you would want a Clamp Pearl on your team when there are much better water types, I have no idea. Anyway, off-screen may actually calls you about something happening in uh, Pacific Lodge, which is, I'm guessing, the next area where you're supposed to be going. So we're going to fly over here and try to get to either um, Pacific Lodge or that one city that's, like, completely... Uh, walled off, which is... I'm gonna try going as far down as possible. Yeah, I think it's, like, right there. If I open the Pokenav and go into Hoenn map. Yeah, you have to try to, like, get in from, like, Route 128, I think. So, I'm gonna try to skip as many of those trainers as I possibly can, because I don't want to fight anyone, because I'm already a bit overleveled. Uh, there we are. Ah, thank you, Speed of Function, for making this so much easier. Can I... Yeah, I can go around this way, I think. There's an item here. A Zinc! Not bad. I have to stop touching the Speed Up function while I'm recording. It's getting, becoming a very bad habit. Alright, uh, anything there? Actually, yes, there is, but you have to fight a double battle to get it, so I'm going to ignore it, whether it's good or not. Route 126. Where am I? Aha! A very, uh, massive area for... Oh, God for uh, diving, so let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom of the ocean floor, shall we? As you can see, there's actually um, a whole bunch of grass here. You can actually catch quite a few Pokemon on the floor of the uh, ocean. I wish you could move faster while you were underwater, but apparently you can't. Can you use the Pokenav down here? Because science, that's why. <laughs> Pokenav underwater? Science! Breathing underwater? Science! Not being eaten by a Gyarados while underwater. Science! Science solves everything. If you ever have a question with Pokemon, just science. And you'll win. Remember kids, when in doubt, science. Aha! Now, I don't think you can actually see if there's a, uh ray of light here, but I think you can dive up here. Yes, you can. But there's no ray of light, so it's hard to tell. Welcome to Sutopola City! And we're already at the gym. Wand, gym leader with beauty of pure water. The door is closed. Joy! That means you actually can't get here yet. You have to go to Pacific Lodge Town first. Sutopola City, a mystical city where history slumbers. You can tell this place looks so beautiful. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Yep, this is actually a town in the center of a dormant volcano. Yeah, because that works so well for Cinnabar. No, I don't really think there's anything to do in this town except talk to the residents a little bit. I'm not sure if there's, like, any items you can get. I mean, there's a whole bunch of areas you can go, and this kind of leads somewhere, so maybe there's something in here. Mount Pirate Peak to, uh, yes I know. Orbs are side by side, side them together, somehow soothing, don't care. Basically, you um, have to. That's their way of saying, yeah, those orbs should never be uh, separated. So if you do, uh, you're boned. Like, really boned. Like, boned by boning. That's sort of boned. Anyway, since we're really not supposed to be here yet, it's time to dive. And I'll meet you guys back up in the actual route. Alright guys, we're back, and it's time to continue on to Pacific Lodge. Hopefully I don't run into any random battles along the way, because that would be annoying. That person is swimming in place. 
Pokenev is your friend here, let you know if you're going the right way, which means I really should be going south, because this actually doesn't lead that way. So I gotta try to turn south as soon as I can, which is why I'm hugging the rocks. Or is there no way to turn south? Aha, it's right around this way. There we are. Oh. I'm, if, I don't think this trainer is on a clock, unfortunately, but aha! Uh -huh, let's go right past them. Oh no, I didn't want to open the Pokénav. Thank you, speed-up function, for making the uh, menus that much faster. That's one thing I will use the speed-up function on with impunity, is the menus. As you can tell, there's another dive spot here. You can, pro you can find plenty of stuff in these dive spots, but I'm just choosing not to. Oh jeez! Was not paying attention. Level 33 Sphiel and 33 Sharpedo. That Sharpedo could have been uh, bad news! No! I'm trying to get out of these people's way! 26 Wingle, 34 Staryu. Both nice and easy, and Kumugui is level 44 now. Did it in the previous fight. I actually didn't get a chance to tell you that because these guys were so rude. No, no! Ooh. Eh. Eh. Skipping battles like a boss. Oh god, he's gonna go around the rock. It's like a Metal Gear game trying to skip all these battles. Oh, Repel's effect wore off. Fantastic. Save me, speed of function! Yep, we're on our way. Basically, just go straight for a while. I know, it's like a road trip. Just going straight for a while. Oh, jeez. Yeah, got it. Why? Oof, that was a close one. I almost got into a double battle there. He Skipping trainers like a bizzos. Haha! And we're in Pacific Lodge Town! Thank God! This is honestly one of the oddest names for a town ever, by the way. This is where you have to go next. There we are. Pacific Lodge Town, where morning sun smiles upon the waters. Ah, oh, poetic. Houses are on the water! I was born here! Well, that sucks to be you. Sky Pillar? Oh, you must mean that tall tall tower a little further out. If you ask me, I wouldn't climb it. It's too scary to get up that high. Life on the sea level suits me just fine. I'd much rather be up high, less chance of drowning. Anyway, uh, that's where I'm going to cut this episode as it's run a little long. In the next episode, we'll go wherever we need to go next, because I honestly forgot where the hell we're supposed to go next. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, and as always, I hope you enjoyed, and take care.